So far what we've done is we have looked at the um, confidence interval for the population mean, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at confidence intervals for the population proportion. Now, I think most, if not all of you, have an idea of uh, what the proportion is. But let's just go ahead and kind of define it uh, formally. Okay. So the proportion is the fraction of the total. That share... A particular characteristic okay. so let's think about uh, let's think about an example suppose we have a, a group of a hundred people okay 30 are from Georgia, 20 are from uh, Alabama, and then 50 are from the rest of the country. Okay, so from this information, I can calculate the proportion of people from Georgia, which is 30 divided by 100, that gives me 0.3. The proportion of people from Alabama, which is 20 divided by 100, that gives me 0.2. And then the proportion of people from the rest of the country, which is um, 50 divided by 100, that gives me 0.5. Okay. So now the idea is we want to find the uh, confidence interval for the population proportion okay suppose we have a population with a population proportion of pi okay and then from this population I have a sample of size n okay. with a sample proportion of p bar. Okay. So given this information the general formula that we're going to use is as follows. We're going to be using P bar plus minus Z sub alpha over 2 times the square root of P bar times 1 minus P bar divided by n okay where again p bar is the um, sample proportion okay n is the sample size right. and then z sub alpha over 2 By now we know what this notation is, right? This is the z-score such that the area to the right of it Is alpha over 2 okay 
So suppose we uh, we want to find the um, the ninety percent confidence interval. Then z sub alpha over two is one point six four five. Uh, we have a sample that we can use to calculate the sample proportion and the sample size. And so all we have to do to find the confidence interval is to plug those numbers into this formula and then find the answer. Okay. Now, in order for this formula to work, we need the following condition. We need n times 1 minus p to be greater than or equal we need n times 1 minus p to be greater than or equal to 5 and n times okay I'm sorry I used the, the wrong notation we need n times 1 minus pi to be greater than or equal to 5 and then n times pi to also be greater than or equal to 5 Okay. okay. The problem, however, is remember that pi is an unknown quantity, right? It's the population proportion by nature that value is not known. Okay, so what do we do? Because pi is an unknown quantity, we're going to use p bar as an estimate for pi okay that means that we need n times 1 minus p bar to be greater than or equal to 5 and n times p bar to be greater than or equal to 5 for the population for the um, the general formula to work